Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Today we're going to show you how to prove more trick identities. So the identity that we want to prove today is cos bracket a plus b equals cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. So it's called an identity because this equation will work for any value of a and b. So let's test it out before we prove it. So let's say a equals uh, some odd number 17 degrees and B equal uh, 24 degrees and let's test it out in a calculator whether cos 17 plus 24 see what it equals and then let's do cos <coughs> 17 times cos 24 minus sine 17 times sine 24 and type all that into a calculator and see if these two equal the same thing. So you can see in my Desmos graphing calculator uh, both of these equations equal 0 0.7547 Okay, don't forget to put your calculator on degrees mode if you haven't done so. So both of these are 0 0.7547. So that means um, that means that this identity does work. So now we're going to look at proving where this identity comes from. Right, because no one could just simply guess this identity. Someone must have figured it out. So how do they do it? Well, let's start off by drawing a rectangle again with a diagonal of one unit. So here's a rectangle with a diagonal of one unit, and I'm going to call the vertices A, B, C, D. And imagine this rectangle is sitting on a horizontal plane. Okay, so it's sitting on a horizontal plane. And I'm going to define the sides A, B, and B, C using trigonometry so that I have sine X is equal to opposite, which is C, B over hypotenuse. So C, B equals sine X. Uh, cos x equals adjacent over hypotenuse so the adjacent side is a b and forget 10 for now so that's what we have right now and then what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this rectangle about the point a so we're going to rotate it anti-clockwise so it, the rectangle now looks like this and let's now label the angles so X is still there between the diagonal and the line AB and then we have another angle which is the angle of rotation which we're going to call angle Y and now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a straight line down from where point C is so draw a straight line down to the horizontal line and I'm also going to draw a straight line down from where point B is so that uh, I'm going to label this as a right angle as this is also a right angle and I'm going to label this point here as point F this point here as point G I'm going to draw a horizontal line across from B and creating another right angle triangle here and I'm labeling this point here point E. So I have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so what are we trying to prove? We're trying to prove what cause a plus B equals so let's do cos and instead of A plus B I have used the variables X and Y so cos X plus Y 
equals. Now, what are we looking at? We're looking at this triangle here. Let me change the thickness for a second. We're looking at this triangle here, this right angle triangle. Okay, we're looking at this right angle triangle here where the angle is x plus y and using trigonometry rules we've got adjacent side which is AF and the hypotenuse which is 1. Alright, so therefore cos x plus y equals AF over 1. Now where does the side AF come from? Well, the side AF comes from A to G, which is this long line, minus F to G, which is this line here. So if we can figure out an expression for A to G, and we can take away F to G, then we've solved the problem. So what is an expression for A to G? Well, if you look at this big triangle here, this right angle triangle here, right, we've got cos theta, uh, which is cos, let's draw, let's draw another diagram. So in this right angle triangle here, I've highlighted in pink, we have cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse, which is cos y equals adjacent, which is a to g, over the hypotenuse, which is a to b. Right, cos y equals a to g over a to b. And if you see from the previous definition, a to b is equal to cos x. Right, a to b divided by 1, so that's just a to b equals cos x. So I can move the a to b to the left. So a b times cos y equals a g. And a b equals cos x. So I have cos x times cos y equals a g. And then I can replace AG with this expression here. So we nearly we've nearly proved it. Okay, now let's try FG. What does FG equal in our diagram? Or well, FG is the length from here to here, which is exactly the same as the length from E to B. So what is the what is the length from E to B? So now we have E to B which is a which is a right angle triangle, but we don't know any of these angles. So we now got to figure them out. And if you remember, um, this since this angle here is angle Y, using um, the geometry rules for angles on parallel lines, since the line EB is parallel to the line to the horizontal line this angle here would also be angle Y using angles on parallel lines right alternate angles are equal so this angle Y is equal to this angle Y now since this is a rectangle which means this angle whole angle is 90 degrees so this angle here must equal 90 minus y. Now we have 90 degrees here and we have 90 minus y here which means using the sum of angles in a triangle since we have a triangle here this angle here must be y. Okay so let me just isolate that pink triangle for you. We have a right angle here we have 90 minus y here. y can be any size. And then we have y here. Okay, so 
continuing from that, um, we're trying to work out the length of EB, right? Because we're trying to prove what EB is because EB is the same as FG. So let's use the sine ratio of oh, this is point C. So sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse sine of y so using this angle as theta equals opposite which is EB divided by the hypotenuse which is CB okay so now um, if you look at the first diagram um, CB is the same as sine X so therefore I can move CB to the left so CB sine Y equals EB and since CB is sine X I have sine X sine Y equals EB now since EB is equal to FG EB is equal to FG in the diagram you can see here EB is the same length as FG um, I can replace FG with this expression All right so I'm gonna write AF is equal to AG minus FG which is the same as cos X cos Y minus sine X sine Y and since AF is the same as cos bracket X plus Y as I've proven to you earlier right the length AF is cos X plus Y so I can rub that out actually let's keep that so I have cos bracket X plus Y is equal to all of that okay thanks for watching guys see you next time